Okay, let's get this example going. Okay, you're going to see my hands. And sorting in this example is exactly the same as a deck of cards. Now, our job, right, is to find customers, picture cards, and to find aces, distributors, promoters, provers in this case. And so the thing is, we've got to find these aces. This is a Swedish deck, so it's an ace, it's an ace, it's an ace, it's an ace. Now, along the way to aces, what we're going to do is we're going to find jokers who we think are aces. And they're going to ask goofy questions. <clears throat> they're going to ask questions like, is this a pyramid scheme? You know, have you got any of this? And they'll continue to ask questions. You'll continue to answer them. Hey, if I could show you a way that this actually proved this, I have empirical data and evidence base. And then I'll ask another question. I'll ask another question. They waste your time, jokers. So just move on. Jokers, move on. But the cunning one is the disguised one. This will waste your life away in network marketing. It looks like a king, or it looks like an ace, or it looks like a customer, but actually it's just a joker. So how do we know this? How do we sort through this stuff? Well, the thing is, is that we don't know where the aces are in the deck. We, we just don't know where they are in the deck. So they're somewhere in the deck. The trick is, to go through the deck. It's really, really, really that simple. And so the deck is always shuffled. Some people seem to get the aces straight away. Some people seem to get customers straight away. But the key is, do you get the first person? Okay, it's uh, move on. It's not a customer, it's not an ace. You know, oh, then we're lucky. Customer, we love those. You know, look at that, we get another customer. We love those customers. My goodness, now this happens to be usually what happens to me. So make sure we're not going to get a lot of these things. So what happens? We come along and we do this a 10. It's another person. So you keep sorting. You keep sharing. You don't get emotionally attached. You move along. It's a 2. You move along. It's a 3. Here's another customer. We love them. But you haven't got your ace. Oh, there we go. Our first ace. This person is going to help you build your business. Now, am I getting emotionally attached to this? We want to go through the deck. We want to go through this deck. Look at that. Another customer. Look at these. And we just flip through them. We just simply ask them the questions. We move on. Hey, do you want to have more energy, more vibrancy, more get up and go. Do you want to lose volume and fat? Do you want to have a tasting product? You just drink it in the morning and get the energy that I've got. No, they're not interested. You just keep moving on. Don't get too emotionally attached to any of it. Just keep moving through the deck. You just keep going and then, oh, look at this. We, that's a jack in Swedish. And so we look at this and, oh, you're lucky. You haven't got any jokers, right? And we've got another customer. So you've got serious people going through. There's our ace. We want that ace. And we teach them exactly the same thing. Oh, I get another ace. You're on a roll here. And you get a few more people just passing through the time. No emotional attachment. Another jack we get moving. A beautiful queen, another customer. And we continue to move through. Isn't this wonderful? By this time, we're experienced. And what's going to happen really soon is a joke is going to hit it. Four aces. We now know we're on the way to building our business. But we keep going through, we keep going through, and then a joker comes up. And you're thinking this is going to be a customer. You're thinking this is going to be an ace. But they just waste your times with goofy questions, with evidence-based things. They are people you need to you just move on. Don't get emotionally attached. And you get another one. This one tricks you. They probably even sign up. You think they're an ace and all they do is waste your time. So we put them over here, a little bit of a different. We get another customer and, and when we get, oh, we get another customer. I love it. Another customer. It's absolutely fantastic, right? And then we get a joker. What do we do with him? We move on. Now, you've gone through your deck. Do you stop there? This could be two days. This could be two weeks. This could be two months. This could be... A year down the track, what you do is you go out and you get yourself another deck. And your job is to get the aces. Sorting, not selling. It's a simple, easy way to explain. Thanks for your time.